Japanese honey mask. You want to start off with a big oval and divide it into four sections. So put a cross through the middle and a cross outwards. Put on a little box shape down the bottom and a little curved line coming off that centre line to the bottom of the box. Create a curved line going to the bottom of the uh, oval, creating a jaw line and divide it into three little sections inside the box. Two circles for the eyes. Create this curved line going from the centre line up around, going around to make the ear. Create two curved lines going above the eyes, cutting through the circles to make the eyebrows. Erase the lines you don't need now. Create a curved line going through the eye, covering just slightly outside the oval, and looping back around to make a nostril. Then create a curved line going around the nostril to create the outer part of the nostril. Create a little dip just at the centre part where the arrow is and curve around to make the other part of the mouth. Erase the lines you don't need, now create two lips and two little lines just going up towards the nose. Add the two white teeth curving outwards and then a straight line dividing it into six teeth or five teeth. Create a little curved line going up and down through the centre to make the bottom lip. Create a second line to complete the lip and little curved lines to create an inside gum piece. Again, create two curved teeth facing outwards and a little box shape in the middle for the centre teeth. Divide this into four pieces, then create a little curve above to create the tongue. Create a slight curve knot around that initial shape of the box, curving around and create a little loop just above to make the chin. Create two curved lines, going one just around the outside part of the mouth and one just create a little bit of cheek going towards the eye. Create two curved lines now, going underneath the eyes through the circles and then two little circles for the pupils. Create two loops to make the hair. Erase lines you don't need and do the inside detail on the ear. Following the directions here, create the curves from the points to make the horns. Erase the lines you don't need and now create two loops going from inside the ears going outwards to create two ropes. Create two little points coming off of the ropes. And then create three little bumps above it. Now we're going to do a pattern inside the rope. As you can see the design up there, you're going to have three lines and you're going to do a zigzag between each line to connect. And it's going to make a nice little pattern inside the rope. So start with, do all the lines. So do one line, two lines. The third lines would be the outside parts. Then do the zigzags cutting through to create the pattern. Now get your pen out and go over it on your big pen. The lines I've left won't do it a thinner line detail. Now we've got that we can start doing some shading. I'm going to start with a little bit of black just underneath the nose, on the cheek and just going around the outside part of the eye. Now you're on the inside of the ear. Now following down you're going to create a little curve of shade just coming off of that cheek. Create a little bit just on the bottom jaw, going from the outside inwards, leaving a highlight in the middle, and do the same in the lips. Now do a little bit of black inside the mouth, and the same as we've done on the chin in the hair. Now we're going to go for colour on this, so we're going to have pink in the mouth and red, leaving little highlights just on the cheek, nose, and eyebrows. I'm going to put a little bit of mint green just coming down from the head. Now for the ropes, I'm going for a very light green. The eyes, we're going to start off with a yellow, and then we're going to put a little bit of shade with a light caramel sort of tone. Now we've got that done, we're going to put like a body colour inside the teeth and then the horns. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight in the background with the colour and a little bit of black just going on the edges of the ropes. And that's pretty much it, people. You know, you can pause, rewind, you know, take it as long as you need to, but that is the basis for how to draw an old school Japanese honey mask. Hope you like it. Check out my videos. I am the Broken Puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.